It's been a violent weekend in several parts of the country. A mass shooting in Baltimore has left two people dead and 28 others wounded. Scott McFarlane has more. At a 4th of July weekend block party, at first the gunshots were mistaken for holiday fireworks. This is a multi-generational event. You had young people, you had older folks, you had folks middle-aged like myself. Another shooting at 805 right in the court call us as a sister was shot. Witnesses describe a sea of bullets after midnight at what began as a family night of fun. At least 30 people shot, an 18-year-old woman and a 20-year-old man killed. And a night later, the search for suspects is still underway. Authorities say they're looking for multiple shooters. We know for sure there is definitely more than one. We don't know exactly how many, but we do know more than one person was shooting. This was a reckless, cowardly act of violence uh, that has taken two lives and altered uh, many, many more. And as I said earlier, we will uh, find those who are responsible and we will not stop until we do so. And I think she got shot in her legs. Lakel Nelson told CBS News she helped race one of the victims to the hospital. And I just kept telling her, baby, just, just, just breathe slowly, just breathing it out, just breathing it out. I'm going to get you there. I'm going to get you there. City police records show this was the 310th shooting so far this year in Baltimore and one that has staggered a city at the start of what was supposed to be a week of celebrations. It's crazy, it's just getting worse and worse. Yeah. It doesn't make no sense. There were kids as young as 13 among the victims, and at least four of them were brought to a pediatric emergency room. Scott McFarland, CBS News, Baltimore.